Piers Morgan blasts Meghan Markle and Prince Harry over treatment of her dad. And Susanna Raid's Good Morning Britain co-host isn't about to change any time soon. The 53-year-old journalist and TV presenter took to his Piers Morgan Twitter account to post a scathing takedown on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry ahead of their wedding on Saturday. Piers criticised the pair for their treatment of Meghan Markle's dad Thomas Markle, who underwent heart surgery on Wednesday. Originally, it was planned that Thomas, 72, would walk his daughter down the aisle. However, after it emerged that he had helped paparazzi in a setup photo shoot, it was claimed he was bowing out of the honor so as not to embarrass Meghan. His heart issues then emerged as the former lighting director revealed surgeons were clearing a blockage in his heart, repairing damage and putting in a stent on Wednesday. Thomas reportedly told US site DMZ from his hospital bed, I hate the idea of missing one of the greatest moments in history and walking my daughter down the aisle. However, new reports suggest Meghan has reached out to her father and he may still walk her down the aisle. Piers clearly doesn't think this is enough though, judging by his latest comments. He told his 6.52 million Twitter followers, pretty ironic that after repeatedly urging us all to take care of people with mental health issues, Harry and Meghan have left Thomas Markle on his own to undergo heart surgery brought on by anxiety, stress over their wedding. One fan replied, Piers hasn't taken his rejection by Meghan well at all. Remember his articles fawning over her, talking about their pub date and what great friends they were? Changed his tune after his invite was lost in the post. Piers hit back, I still like Meghan, notwithstanding her disconcerting tendency to ghost people when they've served their purpose. Pretty ironic that after repeatedly urging us all to take care of people with mental health issues, Harry and Meghan have left Thomas Markle on his own to undergo heart surgery brought on by anxiety, stress over their wedding Piers Morgan but if my father was having heart surgery 8,000 miles away, I probably wouldn't stay in London working out what songs I want Elton to play at my party. Prince Harry is known to be heavily involved in mental health charity. The Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry was legally established by Harry and Prince William in September 2009 and became fully operational in 2011. Along with the Duchess of Cambridge who is now officially a patron, the princes said they intend to use the foundation as the main vehicle for their philanthropic activities. Price Harry, 33, and Prince William, 35, also both issued heartfelt pleas for people to start a conversation on mental health in a radio message this week to promote Mental Health Awareness Week. <music> Meghan is also involved in several charities including One Young World, World Vision and UN Women. Piers isn't the only one to criticize Meghan though. Her half-sister Samantha said their dad Thomas is alone and upset in hospital after surgery for his heart condition. 53-year-old said she is even having to wire Thomas cash to survive and that he is said to miss the wedding. Talking to the son, she said, he was upset. 
He wanted to go. But his doctor had the overruling opinion he needed surgery. So he's smart enough to know, this is life threatening. Samantha also rejected reports that Kensington Palace had offered significant support to her dad, who's currently in Mexico. She added, that is not true or he would not have been living in his place. To have been with security. I have receipts showing I've sent my father money twice by money grand because he needed it. He is badly in need of help. I'm dreadfully worried about him. Who's completely on his own. Daily Star Online has contacted a representative for the royal family for comment.